guys. Tonight, an elite group of U.S. veterans take us inside a life-saving mission in Ukraine. All right. Dark Horse is a group of former U.S. Special Operations personnel. They include Special Forces and Navy SEALs, and they're here in Ukraine to provide expert medical support. So this is the operational command center in the bunker under the house. Everything here can be stripped out at a moment's notice if they need to get out quickly. And the intelligence they're discussing here has been fed to them by Ukrainians. Then they're off, heading out towards the front line. Back at base, a colleague monitors the mission and waits for news. You get into that, um, like that expectant father mode, you know, like that, that stereotypical like the guy pacing in the waiting room waiting for the doctor to come out and tell you what's going on. The worst part is you know something's going on and you're here and you feel helpless. And Ukraine seems to have given this veteran some meaning. Old habits die hard. Just about everyone I knew in the veteran community had a mental breakdown when, you know, Afghanistan fell. Um, and then seeing this one, everybody just wanted to do something good. Around seven hours later, the others get back from their mission, setting up a mini field hospital. How did it go? Good, good, good. There was some indirect fire that uh, came in pretty close, but it's, it's about uh, par for the course out here. They filmed this footage at the front. This man seriously dehydrated in need of immediate medical assistance. Take him right to the back. Here, it's a little bit more World War One style, right? And everybody's just lobbing artillery. Just the other day, it happened to me that I was uh, outside. I got a tank round that hit about five or six meters from me, uh, blew the building out. So people watching will think, let's just put it bluntly, that you're kind of nuts. This is not your country. This is not your war. They'll be thinking, well, what are you doing? I think this is our war. I think this is, this is everyone's war. These men say they understand the United States has warned strongly against this kind of work, but they say they feel compelled to be here anyway. Wait. Yeah, the administration repeating that warning. All right, James, thanks.